My name is Gary Pinero, and we are in Unit 77 and 78. Fantastic. So one for you and one for Laura. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So you own two units at Riverbound, and um, I understand that both of them are the pull-through configuration to where you have uh, roads on both sides. So you have not just one overhead door, but you have two overhead doors, correct? That is correct. Yes. Nice. Is there anything uh, in particular that uh, kind of persuaded you to go for the pull-through option versus just the standard building with one overhead door? Well, yes. It, it's To me, it just seemed a little bit more uh, desirable for somebody if they wanted to uh, come there and, and it's easier uh, access for in, in, uh, to get in and get out. You know, you just pull in uh the next day or week or month or whatever if you want to you just pull straight forward and and hit the road and and uh, <laughs> you're you're out of there you know um it's it's very very easy to get in and out because of the roads are pretty wide mm -hmm. and uh so there's not it's not a uh it's not hard to get in and in and out of of of, of units being uh either back in or uh, drive through. Uh, that, that's great. Yeah, wide. that's uh, that's primarily why we uh, incorporated that into the design, uh, just to kind of have that convenience to where you don't have to maneuver and you know do three point turns to back your rig in. You can just pull in one way and go out the other. So I'm glad yeah. um, I'm glad that the design is you know working out for you. Um, is there anything in particular that? Um, pushed you to Riverbound versus any other RV park in the area? Well, I, I, I think we just touched on one is, is having the larger area to get, to get your, uh, your RV, your rig in and out. Sure. Um, uh, the, the cleanliness of, of the area and, uh, the, the friend, friendly, uh, friendly people that are, uh, all the way from, uh, the, the the people that manage it to the the people at the store and the realtor and, and also yeah the realtor yes yeah, who, who was uh, who was your there. um uh, who was your realtor who helped you through the process Scott, Scott Hall fantastic he's a yeah. he's a he's a great guy and uh, mm -hmm. the uh, the realty company is fantastic so I'm glad that that mm -hmm. process was smooth for you um. Was there um, anything that you were looking for or looking at before you made the decision to purchase at Riverbound? Was there any other comparables in the area that you were considering? No, no, we 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 knew from from the start that that's probably where we'd wind up was Riverbound. Uh, looked a little bit at at some of the storage units there, you know, to put your boat in your RV, but. Uh, nothing had an area where you could actually stay there. They were just just storage units, right? And we like we like the flexibility of of being able to store our stuff plus plus be able to stay in our RV there. Yeah, fantastic. Um, aside from the RV that you owned, do you have any boats or off road toys or anything like that, or are you just strictly part time RV in there? No, we 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 have quite a few uh, RV vehicles, side by side, soft road cars. Uh, um, we're we're really close to purchasing a boat. Okay, great. Um, so, um, yeah, we we like the flexibility of just driving right out of the park and and uh, heading right out to the deli. You know. Yeah, uh, it's a like it's a nice option to just kind of peel out and uh, go do your thing out in uh out in the desert and tear it up and have a good time. That's what it's about. Sure. Yep. Yep. That's really inviting us. We like that. Uh, that's great. So, um, what would you say separates Riverbound from any other RV parks that you might have stayed at? Are you kind of new to the um, RV community, or has RVing been something that you guys have done for a while? We we've done both. We've we we've done a lot of dry camping, which is, you know, uh, just head out to the desert and park and camp in the desert. 
um, with our RV because it's self-contained. You know, we have generator and water and all that. Sure. And uh, uh, we've we've also stayed in parks. And what what we really liked was was having the convenience of the store right there. Sure. And um, yet again, the, the, how clean the park is and how secure it is, uh, how easy it is to get in and out of your unit, like which we talked about, you know, how those streets are wide. Um, you don't, like you said, you don't have to do a three point turnaround to get it, to get in your, into the, your, uh, your unit. So that's, that's kind of, that's what was inviting to us. And you have a lot of room. You're not stacked close to your neighbor there's plenty of room you're not like right next door sure. to your neighbor sure yeah yeah it's a little bit more private having having a, it being at river bound than, than a, a regular rv park yeah most of those rv parks they kind of sandwich you you in and um kind of takes away from your privacy and and that sort of thing so that was also part of the design that we really wanted to hit on um minimally those lot sizes are about an eighth of an acre so in between uh, your neighbor, um, you've got approximately 40 feet in between uh, both of the units. So that gives you a little more elbow room than most RV parks. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it nice. Yeah. So uh, what kind of improvements have you made uh, to both of your buildings or just one of them or any improvements at all? Well, we've, we've, all, um, we've done the epoxy floor. Nice. On both units. And we've actually, uh, Put a 50 amp service in inside each unit, inside each unit, and a 10 foot ceiling fan in each unit. Any, so far, uh, that's, any air conditioning? And, and yes, air conditioning. Sure, it's got yes, it has. It's climate controlled. So, got you got to have that, especially if you're uh, you're keeping your toys there for a long period of time. You want to make sure that they're nice and cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, that that's great. It sounds like you guys have done a lot. Um, is there any reason um, that you purchased two units versus just one? Are you renting out that other unit? Have you kind of treated this as some type of income investment, or are you just you just have that many toys? Well, <laughs> we yes, <laughs> we we actually have one unit. Uh, that's being it's going to be occupied uh, this this week. Um, there we we've leased it out for four months. Oh wow! And we also have another the other unit we may have at least out for a year. Uh, so yeah, it was it, it we we bought it as an investment, but also we bought it to be able to use it. Um, yeah, the best of both worlds. Yeah, hope so, hopeful. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to work out great. Uh, I think that's a nice feature that the audience uh, should, you know, catch on and and appreciate is, you know, you can obviously use it while you're there for, um, you know, whatever particular use you have, whether that just be RV park use or storage. And then say when you're not there, uh, we know that a lot of the customers, it sounds like including uh, you folks, uh, you can rent out the um, RV uh, space, uh, you know, the RV pad, or you can rent out the entire building. So when you're not there, um, you can make some money on it and kind of have it pay for itself over the long term. So I think that's a nice feature. I know um, I might be wrong, but I don't think most RV parks allow you to do that. Right. I don't think, I think you're right. Yeah. 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 Um, if, uh, if a customer came up to you and, you know, they were looking at the property, they were looking at buying a unit, uh, and they were kind of 50-50 on it. They were, say, on the fence about pulling the trigger. Uh, you guys have been there for a year. You own a couple of units. It sounds like the experience has been good. Is there uh, any advice that you might give somebody that is on the fence about buying a unit at Riverbound? Well, I, I think if they've looked around, they're, they're, they've looked around and they're seriously about buying, and they're probably uh, they would probably make the choice to to buy like like we did i mean it's it there's it's a i believe it's a uh a, a good value for what for what you get and i think if they look around they'll 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 know they'll know that well that that's great um really appreciate that um we're, we're moving into the season and we've got our um our third annual car show coming up and i think there's some 
100 plus cars that are registered for the event. Are you guys planning to be there by chance? Yes, yes. we are. All right. Yeah, actually, we're 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 uh, we got a big group coming down with us that, uh, and uh, we're actually Laura and I are coming a couple of days early just so uh, we can we can be there for the for the the car show. Great. Did you uh, did you go last year by chance? We did not. Okay. We did not. Great. Well, it should be a fun time in the neighborhood. We'll have um, you know early breakfast and we're serving lunch and we'll have some entertainment and. Uh, like I said, should be a good time in the neighborhood. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Um, all right. Great. Well, uh, you know, this has been fantastic. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Is there any other comments or any other closing remarks that you would like to make to the audience regarding your units or the park in general? Well, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a great park and, uh, we're, we're excited to see phase two. And we might even be interested in, in getting a unit in phase two. So that, that ought to tell everybody how, how good we like phase one. So, uh, you know, we'd like to, we'd like to, to uh, uh, give a shout out to, to Amy and Tiffany. They, they're at the store there. They've been super great to us. If we need anything, um, uh, they were able to email back and forth and, and phone conversation. So, I mean, it, it's immediate. You know, if you call them and said, "Hey, you know what? Can you send us this or that?" or they're 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 great, and they're they seem to be happy to do it. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. You got to they they are the best. There's no doubt about it. Um, I I would imagine that you would uh, overall give the staff and the operations at Riverbound a decent mark. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, ten plus. It, Sure. Yeah. If it was, if you had a uh, 10 being the best and it, as high as we could go, we, we'd have to put a plus on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, yeah. And, and that's, 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 uh, that's the way we feel about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think you can get any better. Uh, that's great. Um, thank you so much for that, Gary. Um, sure. Yeah. We're, we're looking forward to uh, phase two. Um, we've got, a lot of construction that's going on right now. And uh, we're looking forward to pouring down some pads and getting some more buildings put up. Um, and we want to just grow this community to be the best on the planet. And it starts with awesome folks like yourselves. Sure. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, um, that. you guys uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much, uh, Gary and Laura in unit 77 and 78. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Um, when you guys are coming in, if there's anything that we can do, give us a call at the store. Uh, we'll try and roll out the red carpet for you. <laughs>